Good evening, everyone. It is Suzanne here, and welcome to Mindset Mastery. Our topic tonight is about the possible downward spiral. Are you feeling stuck in a downward spi spiral? This is a perfect conversation for what's going on all over North America, all over the world, as people feel like they are possibly stuck in that downward turn and they're gripped by, by emotion. So we're gonna talk a little bit about how you can interrupt that and what you can do for yourself. So it, as you're joining, please let me know where you're joining us from and what you do so that we can start the networking process. So please put that in the comment section. The word today is mastermind. So if you hear something you love and you wanna stay connected, write mastermind in the comment section. And, uh, and if you're watching live stream and you're, I mean, if you're watching the, record, the re recording, um, also put your name and what you do in the comment section because you never know who's, who's gonna rewatch this video and might find out that they need to check you out. Also, this is an opportunity for you to bless a life and let people know that, that this video, this, this Facebook Live is actually happening. As I said, we're gonna talk about getting out of that downward spiral, what you can do to shift your energy, shift your focus, and really begin to look at what's occurring, possibly different, and for many people different for the first time, uh, since you've probably got present to what's happening. I know people are suffering. I know people are challenged. I know people have got a lot going on. You know, people have been let go. Uh, offices closed. People are working from home from the same for the first time. There are businesses that don't know how they're going to survive over the next period of time. A lot is going on. And I understand. So we're going to talk through what you can do um, if you're feeling stuck and you're feeling like, you know, you are spiraling, things are spiraling out of control. Again, my name is Suzanne Hart and welcome, welcome, welcome. I see Cindy watching. I see Taria watching. Ladies, please let us know what you do and where you're hailing from, what part of the country. All right, well, let me get this, 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 the conversation going and um, and as I said there's a lot going on and and for a lot of people it is really around what do you do and I know for myself the other night I went to bed like many many people feeling a lot of overwhelm feeling a lot of worry some, some fear uh, a lot of concern and and my mind was racing and it was really difficult to get get to sleep and I, I had one of those nights where you sleep and you don't and you toss and you turn. And I knew my mind was racing because I was focused on what was going on and I couldn't shut it off. So if you are someone who's listening, hi, Nana, welcome. So if you're someone who's listening and right now you just can't shut it off, all the stuff that's going, it's like a swirl in your brain. This conversation is for you. So that's how I went to bed and that's how I woke up. I was already in a swirl before I jumped out of bed and, uh, and it wasn't a restful or peaceful sleep. And if you know me, I like ease and flow and I didn't wake with a feeling of ease and flow. I woke with a feeling of worry. I woke with a, fe woke with a feeling of fear. I woke with a feeling of concern. And so oftentimes when that happens, the question I ask myself is, what am I focused on? And I want you to ask yourself, what are you focused on right now? So if you can put in the comment section, what are you focused on, right? And oftentimes what I realize in that moment is I'm focused on the things that I cannot control, right? I'm focused on what the government's doing. And I don't have a lot of control over what the government's doing. I'm focused on what T.D. Jakes is calling the invisible enemy. I can't see it. I can't smell it. I can't fight it because I don't know where it is. So I'm focused on that. I'm focused on all the different posts, the posts that are coming in. I'm focused on every email that's coming in around the virus that's just distracting me. So the question I had to ask myself is what am I focusing on and what emotions are they bringing? What are they creating? And is though, are those influences actually serving me? And what I came to realize was they were not, right? They absolutely were not. Like probably many people that are listening, you are probably realizing those influences that are around you are not serving you. They aren't. 
So what I decided to do is I said, you know what, I've got to find, I've got to limit my exposure to some of those influence. So I started, you know, blocking emails that didn't serve me. I don't want to see, I don't want to see those. Now, some of you may say, well, Suzanne, how do you stay informed? I choose my time. I go look for the information I need. I get the questions, answers I need, and I shut it down. Shut it down, right? Because every time someone gets on the phone and they're in that spot, my anxiety goes up. Every time someone calls me and tells me, you know, this and that about the things I and you cannot control, my anxiety goes up. And it takes me out of my flow and it, and it shifts my energy. So the first thing I decided I was going to do in my, in my attempt to master what I cannot control is to shut it down. So that was, that was the first thing. And then I decided, you know, well, what's going on? Well, the thing is, I'm trying to, I'm worried about the things I cannot control. I'm fearful about the things I cannot control. I'm focusing on the things I cannot control. Now, one of the things I learned many years ago is suffering is created by us focusing on what we don't want and the things we cannot control, right? And so things like worry worries me running into the future and focusing on something I cannot control. You know, uh, you know, emotions like, like fear are often me running in the past and going, that's what happened last time and bringing it into the future and focusing on what I can, can't control. The incessant reading and looking at the media and different things is people concerned and preoccupied with things they cannot control. So I decided, you know what? Let me shift my focus. So the first part of this is really you shifting your focus. So how many of you listening are prepared to shift your focus? Ah, Sydney's saying great advice. I'd limit your exposure to, to on the stressors. Focus on the, uh, I'm focusing on the economy and my finances. Okay, I love it. Uh, so, so we've got, so we've, we've got some people focusing on things and I don't know if you're focusing on it because you're thinking it's an opportunity or if you're focusing on it because you're worried, but oftentimes, you know, our suffering is when we, when we look at stuff either from the past or in the future that we cannot control. So I'm going to, I'm going to help you begin to shift this for a moment. And I'm going to say to you, when you look to the past, look for the lesson that you were supposed to learn from the last time there was a downward economy, look for the lesson you, you learned what the last time that you, you were challenged and had a roadblock, I was on the phone with someone and as we were, we were talking and we were shifting each other's energy and I was help supporting her and shifting her energy, I said, she started to look to the past and she said, you know, the last time something like that happened, I came out so much stronger. I learned so much. And already she wasn't shifting to the past to look at what wasn't working. She was shifting to the past to look at what she was meant to learn what she had learned, what she could take from then and bring into the future, right? So that's the first thing I'm going to say. And if you're going to run to the future, run into vision, not worry. Vision is when you cast the possibility of what could happen that you actually have control over. So the whole thing that we're talking about right now is shifting your focus and shifting, beginning to shift your energy. So when you shift your focus, what do you focus on? What do you do? Well, you look at what you can't control because when you are focused on what you can't control, actually all you're doing is reacting and reacting is an emotional state. When you, when we react, we don't actually take time to really process our emotions and they just fly out. They come out, they're all over the place and we see the shame, blame, worry, judgment, guilt, frustration, anger, fear. We're all, we're, that's when I'm in reaction. That's when you're in reaction. So what do you do? Rather than focusing on what you cannot control, I want you to shift the focus on what you can control. And what you can control is what's going on inside of you, your internal la landscape. Now, this is what I do know. Your internal landscape creates your external, external actions. It creates your out external lens. So when I shift my internal landscape, I instantly shift my external lens. Is that making sense to everybody? Also, oh, Cindy says, I'm, I'm the, my focus is worry, wanting to shift that. Awesome. So this is what I want you to do, Cindy. Rather than focusing on all the things that are going on inside, outside that you have no control of, rather than focusing, running into the future and, and, and creating a movie of what could possibly happen, because you know and I do not know that we don't actually know that. 
So rather than do that, I want you to take your energy and point it towards you and say, I'm going to focus inside. I'm going to focus on my internal landscape. I'm going to shift my internal landscape so I can change my external lens. Is that making sense? Hey, Don, welcome. Right? So shift your internal landscape so you can shift your external lens. And so this is how you begin to do it. So the first thing is begin to look at what you're thinking about and begin to shift that, right? So for me, it was, I was, I was thinking about what was out there. I was thinking of all the things I cannot control. So the first thing I did was I shifted my thought and I said, and I asked myself, well, what if this is a perfect opportunity? What if this is a gift? What if this is an opportunity for me to put my eye on the things that I have not yet seen in my business? Cause I've been busy producing, I've been busy running, right? What if this was an opportunity to slow down and shift? What if this was perfect and it was my perfect storm and it was my perfect opportunity? So I started shifting my thinking because the one thing I can control is what's going on in my head, the, the thinking, right? So as soon as I shifted the thought from, oh my gosh, this is a catastrophe, this is whatever, Yes, it is a challenge, but what if this challenge was an opportunity? And as soon as I went from challenge to opportunity, my communication changed. So the next thing I did was I shifted my dialogue with myself. I said, Suzanne, let's look at this as an opportunity. Let's look at this as a gift. Let's look at this as my opportunity to seize the moment and grow. And then I said to myself, if I was going to seize the moment and grow, what would I do? And what could I focus on? And as the minute I started to shift my conversation and shift my thinking and my communication with myself, it slowly began to shift my external lens, the lens to which I was seeing the world in. And then I began to have different conversations. So I said, okay, let me call my financial advisor. And we started brainstorming and she poured into me and gave me some advice. And I was like, okay, I can manage that. Then I started making different calls. I started brainstorming with other, with, with other leaders and other people who, who were thinking like me. And I was picking up the phone and going, what if? What if this was an opportunity? What if? What can we do different? What if? And the minute I began to sit in the place of what if, and I began to shift my landscape, and I, I, I listened to Brent, Brent Simpson's live today, and he was talking about, you know, being prepared and collaborating with different people and people pouring in. And once they got past their emotions and they got it past their worry, and they began to reach out to each other and brainstorm and pour into each other, they also began to shift. So as I began to shift, and as I began to shift my conversation, the most interesting thing began to happen. I shift from worry to hopeful. I shift from worry to, to in some cases, excited. I shift from, from all these different negative emotions because I wasn't focusing out there. I was now creating new possibilities and I was actually creating a new reality. Now, if you work with me, you'll know that one of the principles in Mindset Mastery is creation right and i always tell people we have the ability to create something from nothing so when i stopped looking out there and i started looking in here and i started asking myself better questions i stepped into creation and suddenly something from nothing began to happen ideas from nowhere began to show up in my conversations i began to banter and then i was getting on the phone and i was excited and I know people might be asking, how could you be excited in this time? Well, see, my excitement's a choice. My excitement's a choice because this is what I know. I could get on the phone and be, oh my gosh, look what's happening with people who are also spiraling. Or I could get on the phone and say, hey, if let's look at this as an opportunity and what can we do? I have done call after call after call today picking up the phone and saying to people, this is an opportunity, this is our perfect storm. What can we do? How can we collaborate? And getting that discussion going, right? Has anything outside me changed? Absolutely not. 
But what has shifted is inside of me. What has shifted is a conversation I'm having in, with myself. What has shifted is my dialogue I'm, I'm prepared to have with other people. And as my dialogue began to shift, worry, fear, anger, frustration began to get lower and lower and lower and lower. That is what began to happen, right? Lower and lower and lower. Now, does it spike every now and then? I'll tell you, it spikes every moment I get a call from someone who's not in the same conversation with me. I get off and my anxiety is up and my worry starts to rise and then I gotta go do the work again. All right, Suzanne, you can't focus and, and manage out there. You can't control that. Look at what you can control. Begin to look back inside. Shift your conversation back to where you were. Shift the dialogue. Shift the thought. This is perfect. This is an opportunity. And then I go back to work. So part of it is me really learning to manage my emotions. I had a call come in. I didn't take it because I knew that the minute I got on that phone, I would shift and I didn't want to shift, right? You see, this is the gift that I want to leave you with is that I and you have no control over what's going on out there. I don't, you don't, but we have so much control over what's going on in here. We have so much control as to how we get on the phone with a friend, how we get on the phone with a family member, how we get on the phone with a colleague, how we get on the phone with our clients. We have all the control in the world and we can get on the phone totally in suffering, and focusing on, on all the emotions that come with that, or we can get on the phone in total possibility. Now, I can't change what's going on, but I can change how I come to what's going on, right? The thing I, that, that is carrying me right now, one of the things I remind myself, is in every downward turn, in every moment of adversity, there are those who come out stronger. There are those who come out better. There are those who rise to the occasion. My question to myself is, Suzanne, are you gonna get caught in suffering and the tailspin and be in that downward spiral and then when this is over go, oh, I wish? Because we always do it. I wish I did what that person did. I wish I saw what that person did. I wish I, had, I saw the opportunity that that person did, right? I've been there and wished. But what, what I've become present to is I'm, the reason I'm wishing is because in that moment, I was reactive to the external factors and they were responsive because they managed their internal landscape and they responded and moved and acted from that place. So taking a page from their book because success always leaves clues, taking a page from their book, I decided this time around, I'm managing my internal landscape. I'm going to ask myself better questions. I'm going to have a better dialogue with myself. I'm going to, going to manage those in, inter, external influences that may take me off my game. And I'm going to decide that this is my perfect storm. Now, is it or is it not? Who knows? But I, but I get to choose the conversation that's running in my head. So I'm going to choose a conversation that I believe is going to serve me. Am I going to manage what's going on in terms of, yes, I'm going to manage the, what I need to know and I'm going to take care of myself and I'm going to take all the precautions. But that's set. I've done that. Now it is, what am I going to do with the time while I'm in my home? What am I going to do with the time when I'm in my office? What am I going to do with the time that I've left to my own, to my own, to my own devices, which is what's running inside of me? I'm going to manage it and I'm going to make it totally worthwhile, right? totally, totally worthwhile. What shifts the difference between winning and losing, winning and suffering, getting, moving forward versus moving backwards is what you and I decide. What we decide in this moment, what we choose to believe in this moment, right? That is what's going to, that's what's going to move us forward. Now, I can sit in total possibility and nothing happened, but I will not have gone through it suffering. I will still have learned and grown. Or I can sit in total possibility and come up with a genius idea and move my business. I choose hope. I'm not going to choose fear. I choose faith. I'm not going to choose fear. I am going to powerfully choose what serves me. So let me go and see what you guys are saying. What are the comments? Ah, I love it. Cindy's saying, be at choice. Ah, thank you. 
manage your internal landscape and, and my external influences, absolutely. Ah, Tria's saying, I know this is an opportunity to rise. Yes, because we've been having conversations. So if you love the conversation, put some hearts, some thumbs up, let me know. Let everyone else know if you have any questions before I sign off, because these ones are going to be short and sweet. Let me know if there's any way I can serve you. And if you are someone listening and you just need uh, some support, you need someone to pour into you, you need someone to shift your energy, put a mastermind in the comment section, book a time. I'd be happy to jump on the phone with you because these are the times when we come together. These lives are meant to serve. They're meant to, to provide support for those people who are in, who are in our community and, and those people who consistently follow me. So if this is a moment where you say, you know what, I just need some support in shifting my dialogue. I need someone to brainstorm with me. I need someone to just pour into me and help me look, stop looking outside and show me what I can focus on internally. Put mastermind in the comment section. I would be happy to pour it, pour into you. Ah, uh, Don Mason saying great perspective. Thank you, Don. Ah, uh, hello, Ashley. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining. My name is Suzanne Hart. This is Mindset Mastery. And you know, when you master your mindset, you, ha you have mastery over your life. Circumstances will come, circumstances will go, but the one thing that will say consistent is who, and who you and I choose to be. We always have choice. We are always at cause in every circumstance. So choose powerfully. Have a great rest of your week. I'll see you back here next week. Take care.